Welcome. My name is Gary Coburn with ExtendingClouds.com. I'm your cloud automation specialist from VMware. And today we're here to walk you through the prepare VRA template script specifically for Windows that uh, was recently created by myself. So to give you a bit of context, uh, we'll start with the prepare Linux reference machine to support software deployment. So uh, as you uh, as you may or may not know, uh, my hope is you've been following following me long enough to know this for a fact that uh, there's this really simple script that's available in vRealize Automation. Uh, it actually started with 6.2, I believe, and then all of the, uh, the, the versions since then have included this prepare VRA template shell script. And what this literally did was gave you the capability to run a simple uh, shell script command. It would prompt you for a couple of uh, inputs and you would automatically get the software component agent, the GUGENT uh, requirement from VRA, and it just made life really easy to deploy things with Linux. Unfortunately, if you wanted to do the same thing with Windows, uh, we've, we've felt this pain where you uh, you had to go in and actually download the uh, the Java JRE that's included with VRA. You had to go in and download the Gugent uh, zip file. You had to extract it to a very specific directory. Uh, you even had to uh, unlock the uh, the the zip after you downloaded it in Windows. So there were there were a number of of steps that uh, were included, and then obviously you also had to download and run the bootstrap for uh, for software deployment in there that, uh, that created the Darwin user and, and basically gave him the rights to, to provision any of the software components. So as you might imagine, preparing a VRA template for Windows and software deployment was a, was a bit more complex and a bit more challenging. So it was one of those things that uh, it was really easy to show with uh, with Linux, but one of the things that uh, was limited when it came to uh, Windows deployment. So that was the problem that I uh, I found through the process here, and and I've uh, I've known for some time. But as uh, as VRA seven came about and some of the advanced functionality, I was uh, motivated to build and. Uh, maintain a script that uh, looks like it could potentially be included in the product before uh, before too long. I've submitted it to product management. But the, generally, uh, what it is, is it is a uh, Windows shell script. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you out here on GitHub, as well as on the uh, developer exchange, you can find um, a sample of this that links directly to my GitHub. So if you want to go out and search for uh, prepare VRA template for Windows, for example, you'll find a link that uh, that goes through uh, to download the shell script. So you can download that or you can go to gcoburn slash automated scripts on, uh, on GitHub and you will uh, you'll find the prepare VRA template dot PS1 file. And this file actually deploys one of three different ways. I think this is uh, this is one of vital pieces that I wanted to make when, when I created this. First, it will take command line parameters. So if you're trying to automate it, which you will uh, see me utilize that for an automated deployment with VRA in, uh, in a future post and future video here. But if you want to pass it command line parameters, it accepts the command line parameters for the URL of your VRA appliance, the URL of your model manager or IaaS server, and the password you want to use for the Darwin user. Um, if you don't want to pass it parameters, but you want to hard code the values, you can take the script and create the user configuration and edit these to your particular environment so that it's hard coded when it actually runs. And then if those aren't set by either passing a parameter or uncommenting this and, and using the user config, it will actually prompt you for the fully qualified name of your VRA appliance, fully qualified name of your IS server, and the password you'd like to use for your Darwin user. So very, very powerful uh, and flexible solution set. Um, 
So without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and copy this file. Let's go into our uh, our Windows server here. I S E. We'll launch our PowerShell integrated environment. And I always double up when I launch those. I don't know why, but I always do it. So I'll close one of the windows. And with the other, I'll go to a split pane here. And I'll paste the script. I'm going to store it directly on the C drive. All right, so as you can see, we've got our prepare VRA template PS1 here. We'll go ahead and launch. And as you can see, validating if the property val proper values are set, they are not. So I will go through and manually enter these in. So for me, it's VA VRA fightback dot records. Win dash VRA bytebag dot records, and I'll set the standard VMware one bang password for example. Now, before I actually execute this, I uh, I'm gonna go out here and take a snapshot so that I can show you. the other ways that we may uh, may want to take advantage of this script so once we'll run it once with uh, with command with the parameters I'll run it once with the command line and then I'll run it once with user configuration to uh, illustrate how it would execute and the text file that it creates so you can look at the results of the different commands All right, so let's go ahead and launch. It shows me that the values have been set and it's adding the .NET 3.5 and the, the 2.0 versions that need to be created. While that's running, I'll open up the file manager here you'll notice now we've got an opt directory and inside that opt directory is our agent install file this is the log file that I'm creating while running these commands So validating if proper values were set, user configuration, and no command line parameters were detected. The following values have now been set because it prompted me for those, and it's adding 3.5. So we'll go ahead and hang out in opt here for a minute and watch the script run through the process. All 
and we're complete. Now you'll notice files start uh, downloading and extracting into the directory. We've got JRE file being downloaded and extracted. We've created the bootstrap and JRE directories. Now we're going to go grab the agent installer from the URL you defined. The installer is actually a self-extracting executable as well. Now we're going to build the Win service and the Darwin user. Set all the settings up and install complete ready for shutdown. So that was an example of us capturing the VRA template, being able to uh, say it's time for shutdown, take a snapshot so you can use linked clones or convert to a, uh, a template and it's ready to go. And that, again, using the example of prompting you for the three different variables that you need. Next, we will step into doing this from a command line perspective alone. <clears throat> so we reconnect. And as you can see, we're, uh, we're right back where we were. So let's go ahead and exit out of that script. Clear. So this time we will do we'll do a win. And our password. So all we're doing here is the same as if we were to answer the prompts that were, but we're passing them through the, uh, the command line. So the appliance URL, the model manager URL or IaaS server, and the password we want to utilize. You see it validates the proper values are set adding the .NET 3.5 features and we'll go through the rest of the process just like we did in our last run. All right, so we'll reconnect here. We'll stop our script. Clear. Now let's uh, go in and edit our actual script here and we will uncomment each of these save first now we save that and go ahead and run and we'll follow the exact same process where the values have been set because they were hard coded in the user configuration file. So with that you have a complete prepare VRA template available for your consumption using the PowerShell script. I hope this is immensely valuable. I know it will be for me and POCs moving forward. If there are any questions, please feel free to provide any feedback or information. Thanks very much and have a great day.